Welcome back. Here we have Brian testing the Rotogrip RST X2. If you've watched my making and uh, first review video, you know my thoughts on this ball for my style game. So the question was, how does it behave for Brian? First impressions is it's the same concept, I would say. Brian's a higher tilt stroker, and he doesn't typically have pearl asims in his bag. In a lot of cases, the pearl is clean, but asim nature just seems to stop in a way where he simply doesn't get the carry like he would with say more continuous look he gets from like symmetric symmetric shiny stuff anyway so specifics here from the outside he saw what i saw a kind of meh ball reaction a bit over under in fact it was in such a way that he initially moved more direct thinking that was the answer but it wasn't once he moved the touch left that's when the rstx2 came alive he threw i would say what five six in a row um, so we knew that in the track, it worked just like it did for me. Um, the, the big thing I would say with the RST X2 is it didn't really give any help, if that makes sense. I mean, if he was there, it struck. If he missed out, it didn't really sort of pop. Um, yes, it came back, but not as strong as you, you know, he would like to kind of increase his carry percentage. Actually, to be fair, it did hold when he missed in. Um, but in general, we felt like it didn't add anything. If you were on, you're good to go. If you're not, it just didn't help. It just seems to have a pretty neutral characteristic. My, my take is that this could wind up being good for power players who may sometimes overhit the ball as the ball might smooth that out.